So what determines the, su the success of an operation? So from a surgeon, point number one, skill of the surgeon, that's pretty obvious, have to be well trained, maintain their skills. Point number two, the surgical tools and implants used, they have to work properly. Mechanical hearts generally don't. Orthopedic in, in, implants such as hip and knee replacements work very well. Sometimes there's a problem with breakage. Sometimes there's a problem with abnormal wear causing loosening and spilling over into the circulation. And then point number three is something that people often, don't often realise. The patient's ability to do the physio and rehab. Sometimes the patient is too sick afterwards to get up, start walking. They may not get such a good result. After uh, cardiac surgery, surgery, heart surgery, they've got to get up and start doing, th uh, doing things. As recommended by the treating surgeon, you can't just lie there thinking of, I've got a, a new heart in, or I've got a new hip or knee in, now all the work's done. Actually, we often say as a surgeon, the work starts after the operation. If the patients are seriously unwell, they may not be able to get out of bed and move their new knee or their new hip. So all three factors are, are involved and all three are very important. You can't just have one or two without the third. I hope you find this useful in your career. Good luck.